the first episode of Gardening Tips with Miss Wood. I'm so excited to be here with y'all and show you some of my favorite gardening experiments that I have been trying at home. So today we are going to grow an avocado tree. So all you need are avocados, three toothpicks, a glass of water, preferably a clear glass, a knife that comes with a guardian or a parent that you can use it with, and a cutting board. Let's get started! So you're gonna take your knife, well your adult is gonna take your knife, and you're gonna slice the avocado around the seed. And now you can take it back from your parent or guardian, you can do this part. And you take your avocado and you twist it, and you pull it apart. Yay! All right, so now, parent or guardian steps back in, or you could try this without the knife. You want to gently coax the seed out of the middle. So you'll get your seed out of your avocado, and now you'll wash it off. Wash off all of the green avocado junk. Okay, okay, so take your seed, and you're gonna take your toothpicks and you're gonna carefully insert them at the top. Now you say, Miss Wood, how do I know what's the top, what's the bottom, what's the side of my avocado seed? So I'll give you a close up. The bottom of my avocado seed has three different colors. So it has the regular brown from the outer circle, and then it gets a little bit darker brown, and then it actually gets a lighter brown. And mine even has a little part sticking out where the roots will grow. So that's how you know that's the bottom. So you'll take your toothpicks and you'll gently insert them just a little bit into the top of your avocado. And you'll also want to do it at an angle so your avocado can sit in the water. It's okay if you already did it flat, that'll work too. So now you can just take your seed and you can plop it in your cup of water and you'll start to see roots come from the bottom in a couple of weeks. And that's it, that's how simple it is to grow an avocado tree. Now I will give you a couple of notes as we move forward. It is not gonna happen overnight, so you'll have to be patient, and this is a great thing for us to practice now in this day in life, patience. So you will probably see roots start to come in about a month depending on your avocado seed and depending just on its life. They all have different personalities, I can tell you that from all four of my avocado trees. And they have different things that they like and don't like. So what will happen is your seed will start to split so that brown outer shell, you'll actually see it get a line around the center of it. And that's a good sign. It looks kind of scary, but I promise it's okay. So it'll get a line around the outside and the roots will start coming from the bottom. And so once the roots have pretty much almost filled your jar, that is when you'll start to see the trunk of the tree grow and it'll start off really small and it will grow little leaves and then they'll get big, 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 big so they can absorb the sun. Moving forward, there are a couple of things that you could try. But first, before I get into that, let me introduce you to my avocado trees. Oh, please don't fall. So this is Albert, and I have had Albert since I was a junior in college. And Albert has been through a lot, being left in the car, having a potassium deficiency. So they all have their personalities and like any other plant, just keep an eye on it and you will be able to see what it needs. These are my two younger trees and I've done something with them. So one of them, I actually cut in half after it was about six inches tall and the other I didn't cut in half. And this is because I wanted to see what would happen when one avocado tree grows into an umbrella and the other grows straight up. So what some gardeners will do, like my grandfather who has a peach orchard in Georgia, is when their trees get to be a certain height, they'll cut them in half because then the trees will grow into an umbrella shape. See my umbrella shape, woo -hoo! Which is better for harvesting than if your tree grows straight up. So I've tried this with my two little avocado trees to see what would happen. And I'll give you a closer look. So you can see that this one, this is where it was cut. And this is where it started to regrow. So it looks sad and you feel like you're killing your tree. Trust me, I had a lot of heartache. But 
this one, you can see that I didn't do that. And they're both growing just fine. So that's it for the first episode. Thank you for joining me as we grow avocado trees. If you have any questions, feel free to comment them below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And we'll see you next week for gardening tips and tricks with Miss Wood. Yay!